Americans spend more than $50 billion every year on beauty and skin care products, but there's little oversight into what goes into the products we're putting on our skin and hair. Well, now a bipartisan group of lawmakers and industry leaders say that must change. Jan Crawford is in Washington with all the controversy. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, you know, it might surprise you to hear that cosmetics and skin care products, I mean, like the Wild West, I mean, pretty much anything goes, but scientists are sounding the alarm. Chemicals and some of these products are dangerous, and now Congress is involved. It's standard beauty routine. Hair, nails, and of course, makeup. But there's growing concern that some of the products we use to look good actually could be causing harm. It's because of the addition of more chemicals. Chemicals for staying power, chemicals for shine. California Senator Dianne Feinstein is leading a bipartisan effort in Congress to give the FDA more power to ensure skin and beauty products are safe. I think our laws should provide for adequate testing of chemicals before they go into widely used products. Cosmetics and skin care products are largely unregulated. Dove creams your skin while you wash. But gone are the days of simple lotions and soaps. Johnson's cleans gently. No more tears. Today's products are made with chemicals, like formaldehyde, used in products from nail polish to some chemical hair straighteners and known to cause cancer. Propylparaben, a commonly used cosmetic preservative, and lead acetate, yes, lead, used in hair dye. Under the proposed law, the FDA would test whether those chemicals are being used at safe levels. If not, they can force a recall. Doctors say it's long overdue, not only for adults, but teenagers whose developing bodies are more at risk. Ignorance is not bliss. Dermatologist Elizabeth Tanzi says she treats patients weekly for adverse reactions to chemicals in beauty products. We're just assuming that all of our hair care, skin care, and our personal care products are safe. Well, I think we really need to look very closely at some of these, uh, at some of these um, ingredients because we know that at higher concentrations, they can be toxic. Tansy says the biggest offenders are hair products, especially straighteners and newer nail polishes that last more than a week all largely unregulated. That's not the story in other countries. The European Union bans more than a thousand chemicals from personal care products. Of those, the U.S. bans 11. I think that the beauty industry is the last industry that has been forced to truly clean up its act. Greg Renfew said the lack of oversight led her to start a natural beauty products company, Beauty Counter. She was on Capitol Hill Tuesday to urge Congress to pass the tougher new legislation. Things that I've been washing my babies in, things that I've been putting on my body while I was pregnant, things that I've been using on my body for decades, to find out that those ingredients were not safe for my health was incredibly disappointing and scary, quite frankly. Now, Feinstein said she expects the bill to pass. Not only are legislators on both sides of the aisle supporting it, but so too is the industry. She said the companies want to know what's safe and what's not, and consumers and beauty salons, well, they deserve to know. Gail? Mm -hmm. I really very, believe in this. I mean, yeah. We don't know enough about what we use. No. Mm -hmm. And when you go Cosmetics to get your nails even. done, when you go yeah. to get your nails done, just the smell in that place, I often wonder how people can be there all day working in that but I keep going back. <laughs> Thank you, Jan, very much. You seem healthy. Yeah, I'm okay, knock on wood so far.